Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 4, lesson 11. Okay, our first question here, Diego has $11 and begins saving $5 each week towards buying a new phone. At the same time that Diego begins saving, Lynn has $60 and begins spending $2 per week on supplies for her art class. Is there a week when they have the same amount of money? How much money do they have at this time? So we want to figure out where they're both the same. So let's figure out what they both are. Diego's total is he has $11 and he adds $5 each week. Lynn has $60 and she spends $2 each week. Is there a week when they have the same amount of money? Well, how do we check? We want to know when they are equal to each other. So 11 plus 5x has to equal 60 minus 2x. Okay, how do we solve this for x? Let's get all the x's on the same side. Um, let's get rid of subtracting 2 by adding 2x. Do it to one side, do it to the other. 5x plus 2x is 7x. Negative 2x plus 2x cancels. And now that will give us all the x's on the left. So let's get rid of the numbers that are on the left. How do we get rid of 11? We can subtract 11, do it to one side, do it to the other. 60 subtract 11 is 49. So 7x equals 49. Divide each side by 7. Divide each side by 7. x equals 7. So, is there a week when they will have the same amount of money? That will be week seven. How much money do they have at that time? Well, let's try plugging seven in. Do it to this one. Five times seven is 35 plus 11 is 46. Double check by plugging it into the other one. Two times seven is 14. 60 minus 14 is 46. So on week seven, they each have $46. Use a graph to find x and y values that make both y equals negative 2 third x plus three and y equals two x minus five true. Okay, 2 third x plus 3, y intercept of 3, and a slope of negative 2 thirds. Rise of negative 2, run of 3, so we go down 2 over 3. Down 2 over 3, down 2 over 3. Give me lots of nice points to connect. Okay, and y equals 2x minus 5. So starting at negative 5, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Ooh straightness of that kind of trailed off at the end. Find a point that makes both of those true. Well, that's this point right here, which is the point 3, 1. Okay, what have we got next? 
The point where the graphs of two equations intersect has a y-coordinate of 2. So a y-coordinate of 2. We know one equation is this equation right here. Find the other equation if its graph has a slope of 1. Hmm. So, a y-coordinate of 2 with... Where is this line here going to have a y-coordinate of 2? Well, let's plug that in. 2 equals negative 3x plus 5. Um, subtract 5 from each side. Negative 3 equals negative 3x. Divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. Negative 3 over negative 3 is positive 1 equals x. So we know we have to go through the point 1, 2, because our x-coordinate is here, our y-coordinate is here. We have to go through this point. We also know we're going to have a slope of 1, so we need y equals 1x plus, what's b going to be? What's b going to have to be? to go through this point. Well, to find the y-intercept, to plug into the b, we have to know the point 0 something. If our slope is 1, when we go forward 1, we go up 1. When we go back 1, go to the left 1, we go down 1. To get to 0, we have to go back one from here, so down one from here, so it will be 1. y equals 1x plus 1. Okay, what have we got next? A farm has chickens and cows. All the cows have four legs, all the chickens have two legs. Altogether, there are 82 cow and chicken legs on the farm. Complete the table to show possible combinations chickens and cows to get 82 legs total. Well, 35 chickens, each chicken has two legs, so that is a grand total of 35 times 2, which is 70 legs. How many legs are left? 12. How many cows does it take to have 12 legs? Well, that's three cows, because three cows times four legs each is 12. Seven chickens is 14 legs. So we want to know fourteen legs. 82 total legs, subtract the 14 chicken legs, is 68. 68 legs is divided by 4, is 17 cows. Okay, now this one we know cows. 10 cows is 40 legs which means 42 legs left for chickens, which would be 21 chickens. Um, 19 chickens is 38 legs. which means there are 44 legs left for cows. Forty-four legs left for cows at four legs a cow is 11 cows. Okay, five cows, four legs a cow is 20 legs which means 62 legs left for chickens, 
62 legs left for chickens is 31 chickens. Okay. Here's a graph that shows possible combinations of chickens and cows that add up to 30 animals. Okay. If the farm has 30 chickens and cows, and there are 82 chicken and cow legs altogether, how many chickens and how many cows could the farm have? So let's look at what we've got up here. 35 chickens, three cows. One, two. 35 chickens was three cows. Seven chickens is 17 cows. Seven chickens. Seventeen cows. Twenty one chickens is ten cows. Twenty one chickens is ten cows. Nineteen chickens is eleven cows. 19 chickens is 11 cows. Ooh, I think we might have our point. This point right here was on both of those lines. How many chickens and how many cows could the farm have? Well, that is... 19 chickens and 11 cows, which is 82 legs and 30 animals. Excellent. That's our last problem for today. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. See you next time.